we now have a mixture of not only the need to increase telehealth, but also social justice. And we as physicians and cardiologists cannot practice in a vacuum. This slide, if you look at the citation from 2002, sounds like it may be dated, but unfortunately, it still applies. This is from the Institute of Medicine, their major work called Unequal Treatment. And the statements that were made at that time stand today. Health, life expectancy, and overall care have improved dramatically for all Americans, but the benefits have not been equal. There is a real mortality gap, not social science, but mortality gap, black versus white, which has been persistent since the 1960s. The primary driver is cardiovascular disease. Blacks have more hypertension, diabetes, obesity, especially in females, heart failure, stroke, chronic kidney disease, end-stage renal disease, and premature cardiovascular mortality. If you talk then about this gap, you can see going way back into the early 2000s, black males had the shortest life expectancy compared to white males, black females, a disparate life expectancy compared to white females. In fact, the life expectancy of black females is closer to that of white males than to white females, almost removing the benefit of being female. Furthermore, we know that the cardiovascular disease mortality rates for all populations have been improving, but recently there has been a plateauing and even an uptick in overall cardiovascular disease. The top curves show all forms of cardiovascular disease starting to slow and gradually increase. The y-axis is the same. Again, we're talking about hard endpoints, mortality, with the obvious disparity comparing whites much lower than that seen in blacks. Now, I'm not going to suggest to you that these are genetic factors. There may be some factors, but overall environment, socioeconomic status, life exposures, zip code have more of an impact than genes in terms of these outcomes.